The policy of the Marshall Plan was seen in the Soviet Union as the Americans wanting to impose their influence over the countries to which they gave martial aid. The Soviet Union could not accept that, believing it to be an aggressive act on behalf of the Americans. That is why the Marshall Plan was never accepted in our country. That September 1947, Stalin revived the pre-war Communist International as the Cominform. Through it, Stalin planned to control the countries of the Eastern Bloc. He also instructed Communist parties in the West to take the initiative in seizing power. In American propaganda, the Cominform was represented as a sinister, shadowy conspiracy of evil. But its economic associate, Comicon, offered Russian aid to Eastern Bloc countries, sending grain to Czechoslovakia after a bad harvest. Both Cominform and Comicon were a direct response to the Marshall Plan. On the one hand, the common form would follow the political, ideological line the Soviet Union wanted to adopt in the socialist countries. On the other hand, the aim of Comic-Con was to provide economic assistance in order to prevent these countries from being torn from our sphere of influence. 